Welcome back everybody. I'm here to show you how to make whipped candle wax for frosting on food looking candles in under five minutes. Just kidding. I mean by that is the process all together takes about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. My name is Tiana. I am the owner of TG Custom Designs LLC. I am also a former middle school art teacher. I just recently quit my job in order to pursue my small business full time. I'm here to just give away free knowledge and information in regards to making candles, making wax melts. I specialize in food, wax melts, and candles, so I'm gonna be giving all the tips and tricks in regards to how I make those. I've learned a lot of this through my own trial and error, so a lot of the things that I'm gonna be sharing is just based on my own experiences with this. I've been doing it for two years now. I've been in the candle business. I've had my small business since 2018. So there is no right or wrong way to do this i'm sure there's a thousand other ways but this is the way that works for me so let's go ahead and get started what i'm trying to accomplish today is i have a new product that's launching it's a halloween product my mini pies that i'm dropping in the next week so with these mini pies i wanted to have like a whipped looking pumpkin face inside of the candle when they open it the rest of my candle collection that i'm making so i wanted to make some whipped wax a couple of the ingredients that you're going to need before we get started includes wax and some sort of bowl or cup to hold it in. Piping bag with a piping tool. Now, depending on what design you're making, that's going to determine what type of tool you're gonna need. A spoon to scoop it and mix it in, and a whisk. The candle making, there are so many different types of waxes that you can pick from. With regards to the candle itself, I use a parasoy blended wax. That's the one that I found the most success with in regards to strong, cold, and hot throws. If you don't know what that is, a cold throw is how the candle smells before you burn it, and then a hot throw is how the candle smells after you burn it. So I found a lot of success with that wax. With regards to wax melts and candles, there are two different types of waxes that I use for that. The one that I personally use when it comes to decorating a candle or wax melts or food shape looking types of candle is the soy wax in the form of flakes. And this is the 444 blend because if you know, you know, just kidding. But it is the soy wax 444 or the soy wax 469 blend that I like to use because it just holds up the best. Wax is warm right now. You can't tell it looks hard, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to melt down your wax to its melt point. So each wax comes with different types of melt points and that just means what is the temperature that you should be taking the wax from the burner and putting it into the actual product or mixing in the fragrances or whatever. There's certain temperatures for that. So mine is between 160 and 180. So I went ahead and let that melt down. From there, I went ahead and transferred it into the bowl and it has been sitting for about an hour now. Key to this process is letting it get to the correct cool temperature. So what I mean by that is you don't want it too hard, but you also don't want it too soft. So I'm going to go ahead and start blending mine together and seeing if I can get that consistency of frosting in order to put it inside of my piping bag and then go ahead and put my details on my candle. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, I'm going to go ahead and take my wax and just start mixing that together. I might have let it get a little too hard. But do you see, it's not exactly hard, and it's not exactly soft. This is around the temperature that I wanted. I'm going to try and work with this a little bit, but if I have to, uh-oh. If I have to, I'm going to go ahead and throw it back into the microwave for about 10 seconds. I'm pretty happy with the consistency and how it's coming. You can see it kind of looks like frosting. One more mix and then probably put it into the piping bag. I'm making quite the mess here. <laughs> Whoops. So now I'm gonna grab my piping bag and I'm gonna start loading in the wax. I got it making a mess. You're gonna go ahead, squeeze it down the best that you can. I don't need much for this recipe because I'm only piping this one candle to show you guys. But I don't have much in here. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. By the way, I designed all my own labels. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on that next if you're struggling. I just wanna test this out quick. I'm gonna do it right on my hand. Why not? Ew. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. So here's a look at the finished product. It's so cute. Wish it was a little bit warmer before I went in and piped it because it was a little hard and difficult to get the actual wax to come out. Did not add any additives to the ingredients. I just used pure soy wax, no colors, no dyes, a little bit of the fragrance oil to get that same scent throughout the candle. But here's a look at the finished product. 
This is scented in pumpkin pie. And ah, oh my God, isn't it so cute? I love, we love. Okay, I'm happy with this. So these are going to be posted within the next week on my website. Have been making changes in regards to how I pour wax and a little bit more thorough. I was raised Italian, so I don't like to measure. Making wax melt recipes is pretty similar to cooking and it involves a lot of chemistry in the process. And if you don't do things exactly at the, the melt point or at the required temperature and times, you're not going to come out with a successful product. So this did take some trial and error along the way, experimenting and again, this is not like a master recipe to this. I'm just giving you a quick way and an easy way to do this. And I hope that you guys benefit. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. I'm gonna be posting videos each week on Saturdays in regards to different types of content. So last week I focused on art education. This week I'm focusing on the small business stuff. Let me know if you guys tried this recipe in the comments below. If any questions or if you'd like to add anything maybe I missed, go ahead and also leave me some comments below. And again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you.